One of the neatest features of the Ninja Foodi Cold and Hot Blender is the cocktail button. Let me tell you, I have had a lot of fun with this button. And today I'm gonna to show you how to infuse some cucumber into vodka. Welcome to The Salted Pepper, where we cook for real life using real food and we keep it real simple. And today we're gonna to make an infused vodka. And I'm gonna do it with cucumber because I had some cucumber I needed to use up and I happen to love cucumber vodka. But you could infuse it with mint, you could use rum. I mean, there's so many different things you could do with this neat little cocktail button. And for the longest time, I wasn't even sure what the cocktail button did. I was thinking that it would make simple syrups and different types of mixtures that you would then pour into your uh, liquor and make your mixed drink. However, that's not it at all. It actually infuses the flavors into your, the alcohol that you're gonna use. And it brings the temperature hot enough to infuse the flavors, but not hot enough to burn off the alcohol. It's absolutely brilliant and it is so much fun to play around with. So I had some leftover cucumber in the refrigerator that I needed to use up and I happen to have a fifth of vodka and I'm gonna make some cucumber vodka. It's one of my favorite, favorite drinks and I can't find it where I live. So now that I can make it, I'm like over the moon happy. All right, so take one fifth of vodka or gin or rum or whiskey, although I don't know cucumber whiskey wouldn't be too good, but you know, get creative. You can do whatever kind of flavors you want. But I'm gonna use one fifth of Sky Vodka. It's just what I could find and, and you know, it's middle of the road probably in cost. I don't think you need to get carried away and get a really high end vodka, but you could if you wanted, no problems there. And then this is the equivalent of two normal sized cucumbers. Okay, this is an English cucumber and it was extremely big. So this is actually one and a half of them and I cut off the ends and stuff like that. So you wanna get two cucumbers. Doesn't matter if they're English cucumbers without the seeds, with seeds, skin on, it, it's fine. I'm gonna leave the skin on for these. And I'm just gonna cut them into chunks and throw them in the blender. This is the part I love, it's so easy. I've also done this with mint, but and it's delicious, but I have not done it with mint and cucumber. I think that's gonna be the next thing I do. All right, so once you get your cucumber, or you could put in oranges. I mean, there's so many things you could do. However, if you put in oranges or any kind of citrus, don't put the peel in because I think it might get a little bitter. If you do put the peel in, only a little bit, okay? Because you're gonna put the pith in and that gets really bitter. So don't do that, but this is good to go. Turn on the blender and we're gonna hit the cocktail function. It's gonna blend for a little bit. it blends five times maybe it's six and now it will heat up it heats so low you won't even you won't even know what's happening but see how finely it chopped up everything so you really don't have to go through the work of dicing anything up just put it in there and let the blender do the work so now we'll just let that heat up and go that it's 10 minutes and 30 seconds cycle and then we'll talk about what to do with the vodka afterwards All right, so we're almost finished the cycle and it hasn't been blending at all, but it's going to start to blend again. And I thought, let's check a temperature. Let's see, how hot does this get? I know I've made it before and I made a few cocktails and I could tell there was alcohol in there. So let's see. All right, so it looks like it's at about 165. Somewhere between 165 and 170. Now I'll have to do some research to see um, how high you can heat alcohol before it starts to burn off, if that's even true. Maybe it's just one of those things that we've always been told, I don't know. But I know when you cook with alcohol, they say don't worry about it because it all burns off. How's that for timing? It really was gonna blend. All right. It smells good already. So just two minutes to go. All right, that's it. So I did look up while this was finishing up and it looks like 172 is the number where alcohol will start to evaporate and then lose its potency. So this kept it pretty much under that the whole time. I did get one temperature of 175, but that was just in one area. I'm not too worried about it. Like I said, I have done this before and it didn't lose its potency, I can tell you that. 
All right, so now ordinarily what I would do and what I have done in the past is I put this into a container, so any kind of a container, and I let it sit in the refrigerator overnight just to finish infusing those flavors. But I wanted to taste it right now and see if it has any cucumber flavor at all. And how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna pour some in here uh, over ice, give it a little shake, cause you know it's warm, it's hot, and then pour it into my drink. And I'm gonna taste it plain, which I don't usually do, but I'm gonna taste it plain and then I'm gonna put a little bit of spritzer in there. And I'm gonna tell you how much cucumber flavor it has right now. Obviously you would definitely wanna let it cool off though. Unless you're making a hot drink. I mean, this would be nice for a hot whiskey or a mulled wine. Oh my gosh, I'm doing that next time for sure. All right, so let's go ahead and add some of this in. And I can add in the cucumber and everything because it, it will strain itself through this little lid. Put this on. Oh boy, that is really hot. I mean, it just melted that ice, I think, pretty much. Hopefully I have enough ice in there to even get this cooled down. I think I do. Oh yeah, it's getting cold, I can feel it. All right, let's go ahead and pour it out. Now it's got a lot of that cucumber in, so it's gonna take a little bit of time. Look at the beautiful color. Look at this, I mean, this is just amazing. I put it, I made it all vodka, I'm supposed to, whoops. All right, well, here we go. Cheers. Hey, that's tasty. That is very tasty, but I made it before and sitting overnight really makes a difference. So I can still taste the vodka a little bit and by tomorrow you'll taste just cucumber. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this into a container to refrigerate overnight, and then I'll pull it back out tomorrow and we'll make another drink. Our cucumber vodka has been in the refrigerator overnight, and now it's time to strain it and give it a taste. And hopefully, that little bit of harshness from yesterday, because it just didn't have enough time to really have the flavors perfuse the vodka, so to speak, infuse, I guess I should say. So now I'm gonna use a fine mesh strainer and a large bowl here. Yeah. Hopefully not spill it all. And just let it strain out. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous color. All right. What I would probably do, I probably would not use this if I had another tool. Let's go ahead and press it through so we get every bit out. All right, that looks good. I could let it go a little bit longer, but I'll do that off camera and we've got enough out here. All right, so now we have our cucumber vodka. Now I'm gonna grab the vodka bottle. I keep them, because I put it right back in there, and a little funnel. And we'll pour our cucumber vodka back into the bottle. Now I've been storing this in the refrigerator. I can't imagine that there would be any problem, but I don't know. So, so I've just been storing it in. Ooh, I'm about to overflow it. In the refrigerator. I mean, you know, no big deal. All right, so that is a completely full bottle. We still have a little bit left over here. So let's go ahead and mix up a cocktail. First thing I'm gonna do is just try it on the rock so that I can get the full flavor, see if it's too alcoholic, or see if it's the cucumbers really infused in there and making it nice and smooth. So we'll go ahead and do that first. I just love the color of this. It's so gorgeous. All right, here we go. Oh my goodness, it is really good. I think I could have added in another cucumber though, to be honest with you. 
Maybe because I use fresh cucumbers for my garden, it had a little bit more of a cucumbery taste when I made it before. So I might even increase that to three cucumbers. I don't think you could go too far with it, you know? Um, mm, but it is so good. Now, I wouldn't normally drink it on the rocks, but I'm sure some people might enjoy that. I'm gonna add a little key lime spritzer to mine. All right. Let's use that to stir it up a little bit. Now, I wouldn't even mind putting some of the cucumber pulp back in. That would be fine for me. Oh, goodness, look at that. Look how pretty that is. So yeah, save that. You can put that in the freezer and then just add it to your drink. That really makes it so neat looking. Maybe a fresh sprig of mint. All right, cheers. Wow, that's good. That is tasty. Really, really tasty. Very refreshing. It's very light. Absolutely delicious. So get creative and start infusing your vodka, rum, gin, whatever you want with the flavors that you want. As always, make it yours, make it delicious.